I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media. Voyager Pharmaceuticals has announced the results of its preliminary economic assessment for the development of its Francis Creek Pharmaceutical Barium Sulfate Project. The Francis Creek Project is a 100% owned pharmaceutical grade barium sulfate project located in British Columbia. Voyager is focused on the development of barite and iodine active pharmaceutical ingredients and high performance cost effective imaging contrast agents for the medical radiology marketplace. For those of you new to the company, contrast materials, which may be taken orally or rectally, are used to improve pictures of the inside of the body, helping to distinguish or contrast selected areas of the body from surrounding tissue, allowing the radiologist to distinguish normal from abnormal conditions. Working with its custom manufacturer, Alberta Veterinarian Laboratories, which owns and operates a brand new multi-million dollar state-of-the-art good manufacturing practice drug manufacturing facility in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Voyager is building a suite of barium products including SmoothX, barium sulfate 98% HDX and a barium sulfate drill product. The PEA prepared by SGS Geological Services and a technical report relating to the PEA will be available on CDAR within 45 days. The mineral resource estimate report was based on a database containing 57 drill holes and three channels totaling 3,106 meters. The estimate consisted of 214,800 tons in the indicated category containing 75,600 tons of barium sulfate and 134,200 tons in the inferred category containing 45,400 tons of barium sulfate. The PEA economics are based on quarry operations on the B zone. Following positive cash flow, the company plans to expand its exploration program. China dominates the barium sulfate market and currently offers 97.5% barium sulfate at a delivered price of $4,760 US or $5,960 Canadian per ton. Although the pricing in the PEA is based on 97.5% barium sulfate, Voyager's product has a higher quality of 98.3%. Any product rejected in the company's manufacturing process will still be relatively high quality barite, which is assumed to be suitable for drilling fluid products and could be sold as drilling grade barite in bulk to the Alberta energy industry. We have Brent Willis, CEO of Voyager with us today to discuss the significance of this news. Welcome Brent. Thank you, Cassandra. It's a pleasure to be here, and uh, it was very good news yesterday. We finally got our PEA completed, and I think now that with uh, the PEA in place, the market can see that we have a very strong future moving forward, and they can also see that by owning one of the most purest barium sulfate deposits in the world allows for great growth for our company moving forward. The Francis Creek Project is... Very, very interesting project. We, our PA is only based on 10 years of quarrying the B zone. So we have, it doesn't include other zones on the deposit. So uh, moving forward, uh, you know, our 10 year PA is just uh, the beginning and uh, we're going to be continuing to expand our resource at Francis Creek uh, with future drilling after positive cash flow. And Francis Creek project has a lot of potential to uh, grow as well. The next milestones we have coming are we are working uh, with FDA. We're working on our pre-submission currently. We are working on uh, testing our products. Uh, we're getting ready to do some uh, trials with uh, some clinics on ensuring that our products work to uh, the most efficient manner. And uh, everything's coming along very nicely. We're also working on uh, registering our products in the EU for future sales and uh, 2022 will be the, the year that we launch into cash flow and start uh, creating revenue moving forward. And once we get our plant constructed and our quarry into production, then our margins will increase, our growth in the market will increase and uh, our future is uh, going to be nothing but moving upwards. Thank you, Cassandra. Thank you, Brent. 
The base case economics for the project indicate a pre-tax net present value of $464 million and internal rate of return of 168%, while the post-tax net present value is $344 million with an internal rate of return of 137% at a discount rate of 8%. The project assumes a pre-production period of two years for equipment delivery and installation and mine permitting and an 11-month payback period under the base case scenario. Total capital costs of $36.4 million include a 15% contingency. The project has a very small environmental footprint at the quarry site as Voyager has eliminated tailing ponds, reduced water consumption and designed a quarry and concentrate processing site that uses minimal land and lowland disturbance to the area. Based on current shares issued and outstanding, the after-tax net present value is $3.38 per share or $2.59 fully diluted. The shares are currently trading at $0.16. Cents. For more information, please visit voyagerpharmaceuticals.ca. Contact Brent Willis, President and CEO, by email at brent at vpharma.ca or Ron Love, CFO, at 403-818-6086 or by email at ronl at vpharma.ca. I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media.